Hi, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2015 Toyota Sienna Limited Premium with uh, it also has the convenience package with the HID Xenon headlights and rain sensing windshield wipers automatically dimming headlights. This is the top of the line two-wheel drive Sienna Limited. It's got the navigation, backup camera, uh, rear seat entertainment system, uh, double powered sunroofs, a roof rack crossbars, power folding signal mirrors, uh, radar cross traffic alert, and the blind spot monitor system. Let's look, get, take a close look at it. It does have the chrome lower body accent molding and the factory mud guards to help keep the van clean. The mud guards keep it from splashing crud all over the side of your vehicle so you don't have to wash it as often. Try not to get too much wind noise here. We've got the roof rack crossbars and two sunroofs. The back windows open, the middle windows roll down, and the front windows of course roll down. You got the 18 inch aluminum alloy rims this is a two-wheel drive he's very very clean there's not really any scratches or dents to point out on this vehicle at all now this was owned by toyota headquarters this has never been sold to the public this is a toyota factory uh, company vehicle before it came into our possession to put it for sale to the public that means it did not go to the dealership and get sold to the public. This went to Toyota headquarters and some hot shot with a Toyota factory was, was uh, using this as a demonstrator, product demonstrator. So it's got all the bells and whistles on it. New for 2015, they made some changes. They got new style, uh, new improved headlights. They have these LED uh, light strips in the bottom. They're smaller and cleaner headlights. And I, they're, I believe they're uh, HID, but they could be LED. I have to read this sticker, but I think they're HID Xenon headlights. Um, you have power folding signal mirrors with a blind spot monitor system. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to try to show you this as quickly as possible. When I say power folding, that means the mirrors will fold. You have a little mirror switch here, they fold in. And you have the programmable button one, two uh, memory settings, his and hers, or his and his, and hers and hers, or whoever. And then on the uh, driver's control panel, let's take it for a little test drive into the shade. Let's go demonstrate really quickly the blind spot monitor with cross traffic alert. It does have the backup camera with moving guidelines. So as I back up, into a blind spot here let's pull into this blind spot I like this blind spot because you can't see anything it's a real blind spot so this has some blind spot monitor and color backup camera I'm gonna show you again the backup camera I'm gonna turn the fan down so I don't get wind noise we may get some glare here from the Sun but you've got a 180 degree field of view or a 90 degree field of view. So if I select the 180 degree, degree field of view, that means you have a panoramic backup camera, which means you can see this symbol right here, 180 degrees of view. So if a car was coming, you could see it. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna explain the blind spot monitor with cross traffic alert. Let's take a look at the inside. Now new for 2015, they have all new interior colors. They have black carpet, which they didn't offer before. It really kind of tries to hide the dirt. So all different styling for 2015 and up, which is nice. The, they have the lounge recliners. Let's start with the front. New for 2015, the steering wheel controls are all different. So you've got additional menu controls. And what's kind of cool, because we have the navigation, it actually will show the speed limit. You've got a center display here right between the speedometer and tachometer so it'll actually put a speed limit sign when you're driving down the road it'll tell you what the speed limit is 
and you can toggle through your your different menus you can get your navigation instructions you can see the radio or your smartphone playlist everything will show up right there are settings to reset things your fuel economy all that stuff and um, as you see this only has 16,000 miles on the Sienna very low mileage you have this newest uh, touchscreen navigation system the premium navigation it supports live traffic information and I think it's showing my live traffic right now if I zoom it out where you can see the freeways you get red green and yellow stripes appear on the side of the freeways right now the freeways are still all green um, but you've got your folder tab so you've got your audio tab you got your apps tab so you can run your Entune apps uh, and the home tab so you can go back to your navigation and so forth you got your phone tab now this has Bluetooth music and Bluetooth hands-free phone and what's really cool is it's all touchscreen so all your phone information especially like your call history will import into the navigation radio so you can you know when you're driving you just call AFC or call Abby or call Odessa whatever's in the contacts you can just press them and con call them uh, or your call history for the missed calls uh, your favorites and so f so forth you give them a call and you're call making those uh, phone calls it's really nice up on the uh, c center mirror here this is electrochromic auto dimming mirror with a home link programmable garage door openers buttons on the side on the right this is your rain sensing windshield wiper sensor and your front camera this has a front camera right here and that front camera is for your uh, auto dimming headlights that's unusual to find the Sienna Limiteds with the auto dimming headlights this one has it and you also get an aiming control right here so you can aim your headlights down let's say you're out with a lot of trick-or-treaters and you want to aim the headlights down or you've got seven passengers and a bunch of cargo taken to the airport and it's weighing the car down you can aim the headlights down a little bit you've got a change holder right here um, new for 2015 you've got heated steering wheel and 2013 and up you have the blind spot monitor the parking sonar sensors traction control on and off and this is to open or close the very rear uh, windows and then you have programmable memory settings so just press button one and or two and the seats automatically adjust see that the seats adjusting or button button one or button two and then uh, there you go you're all good to go seats all adjusted for you very nice let's um talk one more thing that I'm forgetting about uh, we've got our conversation mirror here we've got our power door controls to open or close the power door so open or close the power rear hatch and open or close the right rear door so i operate that and then the doors are closing or opening at the press of a button up here we've got a conversation mirror so you can keep your eye on everybody in the back another new thing for uh 2015 is the easy speak system so you have a button on the steering wheel and you can use the Bluetooth system like a public address system and yell to the people in the back seat so that they can hear you very good if you wanted to. Um, it also supports the SOS system which is kind of similar to General Motors OnStar system so by pressing that button it'll call for help if you get in an accident automatically you know if airbags deploy or whatever. Um, and then your tilt and slide power moonroof controls so I can open my front or rear power moonroof the rear is a tilt I'm sorry a, a sliding power moonroof and the front is a tilt and slide so I'm going to open this into the full parade mode and I'm going to close this one with a one touch operation and then you have the privacy shade so you don't have to get glare these open you have vanity lights and they slide like so so wherever the sun is bothering you you can put the blinds to keep it out of your eyes let's go on to the next seating row 
identification number. The last three digits is 280. 280. And this car was built in 9 of 15. So it was built in September of 15. So it's almost a 16. It is a 15 though. But it was built in September of 15. So very late in production. That's why it has very low mileage. So they have the dual sunroofs. Let's start in the center row. I've already been in the front and I'm going to go more about the navigation and all that. So you've got the dual view entertainment system. Which means you can watch two video sources at the same time. So that's pretty good because I can split the screen. I can watch a movie on the left and a video game on the right. Or I can reverse it. I can watch a movie on the right, video game on the left. If you want to watch a video game, you've got the auxiliary inputs. You can plug them in. The Limiteds have a very cool center console with sliding cup holders, which is really nice. You can slide those back. And then if I go down underneath here, if I get my camera in the right mode, you've got a video game input right down here. An auxiliary power jack which is kind of black, but you can plug in your laptop, computer, video game console, anything that runs on 110 volts. So we're gonna talk about the middle row seating. First of all, these are the lounge recliners, which they have the leg rest. So you can take it easy on these long trips. You can buy the van and make somebody else drive for you or have really comfortable kids, whatever you prefer. It has the rear seat entertainment system. This is Sienna Limited Premium comes with the standard with the rear entertainment system. If it's not got the rear entertainment system, it's not a limited premium. This is part of the premium package. If it has navigation and DVD, it's a limited premium. So, uh, and if it doesn't, it's not. So we're looking at the rear seat entertainment system and we have of course this parade sunroof. Let's go. You can literally stand out here, take a look at the roof, wave, hello, when you're in the parade. You've got these roof rack crossbars. These are optional, but this one has it. So pretty much, like I said, it has everything on this van. You got little buttons to operate the power sliding doors or you can do it from the door handles and there's pinch strips so that if an arm or something got pinched in here they would reverse direction as well I have my own control for the sliding mega sunroof and it has accent lighting on the side if you if you're at night you can turn these glowing blue accent lighting on which is really cool so, center row seating is very, very cool. You've got your own air conditioning controls right here. And the sound system in here is the JBL audio system with 5.1 theater surround sound, which means you have 5.1 separate channels, including a subwoofer. So you got a center speaker. So when you play movies, and it says THX and it sounds really awesome. It sounds like that in this car. It's really cool. Um, you can listen to the movie on the headphones or you, and it comes with two wireless headphones or you can listen to it on the uh, uh, 5.1 home theater, which is very enjoyable, whatever you prefer. So yes, if kids are in the back seat watching their movie, the driver can be listening to the iPod or smartphone music through the stereo everybody can be doing their own thing yes you can do that so if you're worried about using all these gadgets not to worry it does come with the owner's manuals and toyota now lets you uh view the owner's manuals on like an ipad it's online now the owner's manuals are all online for all the toyotas so if you have an ipod ipad or something you can sit at home leave these books in the car and watch the owner's manual on your ipad this is the original window sticker 
for this van. It's actually because, like I said, this is a company car. Still got the adhesive backing. It's never been put on the dealer's lot. So this is the VIN number, like I mentioned, 280 Sienna Limited Premium. And here's all the stuff. I'm going to put this in the picture so you don't have to freak out that I'm going fast. But it was about $47,000 sticker price plus 11% roughly tax and license. So you figure this was over $50,000 to buy this new if you were to buy it at the dealership. You're probably looking at around $52,000 to buy this brand new. I'll include a photo of this window sticker in my photos. Um, but it does have all the bells and whistles on it. Sienna Limited Premium. Let's go look at the third row seat. So getting into the third row seat is easy. I forgot to mention I have both two keys for this. These are the uh, smart keys. So you got buttons for the power doors and everything on the remote. All you got to do is one lever and the whole seat slides forward. And then you can climb into the back. And before I do, we're going to notice it's got power recline right here on the side. And these headrests you can they're large anti whiplash whiplash headsets and i've got plenty of headroom in, in the back seat so you can and a full-size adult can fit back here because these seats are um, sliding on tracks i have a lot of leg room right here and there's still enough leg room you can just put the seat back i have the front seat almost all the way back so you got a lot of leg room in here if you want to get out, you just pull the handle, push, and you're getting out. If you wanted to remove the center row seats, there's a handle right here. You pull that handle and the whole seat will come out. And then you can make a run to Home Depot. And you can actually fit a whole 4x8 sheet of plywood in here. Actually, a stack of them. You can fit 4x8 sheets of plywood in here. You even have enough room to put padding on the side so you don't scratch up the van. It's got side airbags, head curtain airbags, knee airbags, all the safety equipment. These are five star crash test ratings and I guess there's some extra welds in the 2015s that they did for enhancing the safety. It's pretty nice. Let's look in the back. So this is a two wheel drive, not an all wheel drive. It's not a four by four, this is two wheel drive. On the two-wheel drive limited premiums, you also get power folding third row seats. So you get this row of buttons right here. So I can fold my seats flat into the floor at the press of a button. So if you have a baby in your arms or groceries in your arms, you just fold the seats flat into the floor. It's very simple. At the press of a button, I'm operating the button right there and I'm folding the seats flat into the floor like so. And if you want to keep dirt from falling in there, you just flip this over to put the seats back. You can do two at the same time. I can double finger it. And then up goes the seats and they're back to normal. It's very quick. And because this has the rear seat entertainment system, I've got a second power point right here so I can plug in a laptop back here as well also get a cigarette lighter port hooks if I want to suspend a cargo net across here you got a storage cubby and this is the premium sound so we have the JBL subwoofer in the lift gate so your big subwoofer speakers back here for all your bass sound works really good you got these little hooks if you still have grocery bags where you live you can hang your grocery bags or Home Depot bags right there so they don't roll around power operating hatch has its own button and again this hatch has a pinch strip right here on the side so if something got pinched in there it will reverse direction the pinch strip runs the full side of the uh, hatch so that you shouldn't be hurting anybody with these power doors And it's 
closed and it's locked. It does have a rear windshield wiper on this year, uh, 2011 to current. They have the windshield wiper hidden behind the rear wing spoiler, which is really cool. I really like how they did that. That may be going away if they change the body style based on the spy photos I've seen, but it's really cool. This one has it. So I'm gonna explain the cross traffic alert and blind spot monitor system. Behind the rear bumper are radar sensors inside the bumper. You can't see them. Those radar sensors are long range radar that work to about 100 feet of distance. Now what you can see is the sonar sensors, not the same thing. These little sonar sensors have been around on cars for 20 years or longer. That's not what I'm talking about. These will, of course, the Sienna Limited has sonar sensors front and back. So when you're close to an object, it'll go beep, 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 beep before you hit it. And it'll tell you which sensors are detecting if you're close to an object. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about blind spot monitor and radar cross traffic alert. So you have hidden behind the bumper an actual radar radar gun is in there and it's scanning about a hundred foot behind you to the left to the right and to the rear so when you're in a parking lot in this blind spot you're gonna back up if there is vehicles approaching from either direction you're gonna get a warning from the blind spot uh, rear cross traffic alert system it's gonna say hey vehicles are approaching and you can be extra careful. If it's a pedestrian within about 25 feet, it'll give you a beep warning in the dash if you're in reverse. Because you sure can't see anything to the left from the driver's window. There's no way to look. Th that panoramic view backup camera helps. Okay, that's the rear cross traffic alert. I'm gonna include some diagrams that show you what the heck I'm talking about in my pictures, so look for those. So the blind spot monitor system is when you're driving in the freeway lanes and there's a car here in your left blind spot or a car or truck or van here in your right blind spot, a little light on the rear view mirror will turn on and let you know there's something in your blind spot. Now, if you turn on your turn signal, that light will flash and I'm gonna show you that light right now. Let's fold that mirror to minimize glare so this little light right there that will flash at you if you have your left turn signal on and there's a vehicle in your left blind spot it'll also flash on the right mirror has one that'll flash at you if there's a vehicle in your right blind spot it's very helpful and it's a very good system a lot of the nicer cars these days are all getting those Toyota Sienna first offered it in 2013 model gear. The 2012s and older did not have that system. And of course it continues on for the 2015. Now 2015 was redesigned, the interior is all different. I'm going to show you that next. So wrapping it up about this Sienna, this van does not have any accidents on it. The Carfax says something about structural damage. It did have a trailer hatch on it, a trailer hitch. We removed the trailer hitch. But it had a trailer hitch was bolted on and we did remove that toyota put that on but i needed that for a different vehicle so you do not get the trailer hitch that was removed uh it was unbolted and disconnected but for some reason when they looked at it they interpreted that trailer hitch as a weld on but it was not welded on it was bolted on and that's why that visual inspection said structural damage so we're going to show you why it's not structural damage when these vehicles are manufactured, some of them don't have these anymore. The Sienna still do. They have the VIN sticker on every body panel of the vehicle. So if I pop open and I take a look at the hood, it has its original VIN sticker, so this original hood. See, if you go to the body shop and you have body work done, they won't put these stickers back on but the stickers are all intact. That means none of these body parts have been replaced. So let's do a full inspection. We're gonna check every body panel and see if the VIN stickers are in place. Which means if none of these parts were replaced, 
then none of these panels were in any kind of significant accident whatsoever. That's your VIN sticker. That's your VIN sticker. The sliding door has a VIN sticker. The quarter panel has its VIN sticker. That's, if you're gonna go look and see if a car has an accident, this is an easy way to do it. Now, some vehicles that are 2013 and newer don't have all the VIN stickers on them, but this one does. All the Siennas do. They still put them on the, the minivans. VIN sticker, VIN sticker, VIN sticker. So what we've shown you is every single body panel on this vehicle is original no accidents let's take a look at the bumper bumper is original too but it's down in there and i can't show you that but this is all uh no body work on this so no accidents zero accidents car very very clean we're probably going to be able to certify this as certified pre-owned uh, it does appear to have passed the inspection, but we're going to triple check and if it says certified That means we found no reason not to certify it because our current indication was it was just the uh, Misinterpretation of seeing that trailer hitch which was a Toyota genuine Toyota trailer hitch bolted on the back, but it's not on there anymore Mike Johnson give me a call 951-681 2101 no accidents no physical damage it is a toyota company owned vehicle never sold to the public before you're going to be the first individual to have purchased this but you will be the second owner because toyota did register it in the name of toyota motor sales usa so you understand this was a toyota factory owned demonstrator not a dealership test drive vehicle this was a factory car mike johnson give me a call if you have any questions direct to my phone 909-225-0151 thank you